Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday. You know what that means. Yep. It's Blight Town time. And last we left off, if you're paying attention, you may have noticed that I had a lot more souls than the 4200 I have now, and I had a few less humanities than the 11 I have now. Well, that's because I went back. In the meantime, I did some uh, housekeeping stuff. And I, uh, basically, I joined the Warriors of Sunlight Covenant. Because I uh, am a massive Sunbro fanboy. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Anywho, what else did I do? Uh, yes, I upgraded the Claymore to plus six. And if we look here, with this sword, my damage is 267. With the Claymore, it's 230. It's poor. And the damn Astora Straight Sword plus two is still better. God damn. <laughs> That's a good sword. That was a good uh, thing. Actually taking the time to go around the Valley of Drakes uh, as soon as I started to pick up that sword. Very, very... Very nice, indeed. But, since uh, the Crystal Greatsword still has 46 um, durability, I'm gonna keep using it. Uh, what else? Oh yes, I found some armor. Or, I bought some armor. That's m mostly where my money went. I bought the Helm of the Wise, which is too heavy for me to use. The Armor of the Glorious, which I'm going to equip right now. The Gauntlets of the Vanquisher. Which are also lighter, and the boots of the explorer, which are also lighter. And wow, that's heavy. That's really heavy. <laughs> Let's see, could we hack uh, 28.6? That's still over 50% my weight. Mm. I need to. That'll do it. <laughs> It's a good armor, but it's heavy. Well, heavier. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? That is a heavy helmet. So if we replace that with this, twenty-eight. That even. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so we can use the sack and the, uh, the boots from the thing. And I guess I've stalled long enough for time. Let's get into some, uh, Blight Town. And good job, bot. That post made it so Discord doesn't refresh automatically for me anymore. Don't worry. If you do decide to talk at some point in chat, I still have the Twitch chat open right next to the game, actually. So, you're good. I'll see ya. Uh-huh. I'm guessing there's a thing back there. But I don't want to fall, and there's a lot of falling involved when it comes to Blight Town. Imminent plunging attack. Oh, was someone supposed to have ambushed me here? Might have already killed them. A bunch of them followed me upstairs, so... That's probably it. That's saw another uh, item back there, but I suppose I'd need to go behind the, uh, structure here. That's a rickety-ass bridge. Okay. Oh, look at this. This one's just chillin'. It's like, no, 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 I'm just a vase, go away. And there's that one at the end there. No, I don't like you, face. That's quite enough. Ah, the range! Keep forgetting. For a great sword, the range on this thing is awful. <laughs> Okay, so, there's a lot of stuff there. 
But my interest right now is to get down there. Well, down there specifically. I wonder if I can see it from here. Well, one of the lava hounds already spotted me. Um, there's one of those dark assholes around here somewhere too. But right now, oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Can climb down. Oh, looks like I have a bit of an ambush waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a very good ambush. <laughs> um, there it is. I thought I was going crazy for a moment there, and I'm still human. How about that? Um, yes. I can touch the summoning sign for Henri. Oh, someone who played Dark Souls 3 there. And Chaplin. No. <laughs> no. Hello, Joe. It does. It actually runs very, very well. They could slap the uh, whitelist on it anytime they want, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Can I level up? I can level up. I do have 20 string. Um, uh, can I reinforce? I don't think I can. No, I can't. No. Yeah, no. I need two twinkling titanites for the Astora straight sword and one large titanite for the claymore. Well, yeah, later. Yeah. <laughs> reinforce armor. Not yet. Not just yet. I'm going to repair the claymore and the stuff with the things. Okay. Toon magic. Oh yes, I did buy some extra spells. And, since I'm now a part of the um, Warriors of Sunlight Covenant, I have the Lightning Spear. Miracle passed down by those uh, to those bound by the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. Hurl Lightning Spear. Lightning Spears inflict rare lightning damage. It's not that rare. And are very effective against magic, fire, and most of all, dragons. Yes. Uh, only two. Two is, in my opinion, controversial opinion, that one. Uh, the best one. Though... Oh yeah, I could change covenants at any point, but yeah, I just wanted that. And I think I'm going to kindle this particular bonfire. Just so I can have the 10 Estus flasks. I'm already human, so I can keep not being hollow. And I'm pretty sure the only way to get that item up there is to jump from over there. Whee! can still level up even after repairing everything. <laughs> I had to double check. Let's see, dexterity to 12, endurance, that raises my weight a little bit. Not one whole point, but significant. Hmm. Also increases my stamina, which is very important. At considering where we are, this might be more important. Yeah, let's go for 20 vitality at least. At the very least. Um, yep, that's about it. I could try and get that item, even if I die. The uh, Oh look, there's uh, the person who left the thing. Even if I do die now, I do have this um, bonfire here, so I can do some daring stuff. And promptly fall off the ledge and die. You stop right there, criminal scum. 
Uh, it sounds like I just woke up a bunch of them. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to sit right here and wait for them all to come down the ladder. Hello. Go on. I want to hurt you. I promise. Here, I'll, I'll even look away from you. <laughs> God damn these NPCs sometimes. Ginormous dick. Okay. to myself, I only have myself to blame. That's fine. <laughs> it was the only way um, to get him to unstick from the ladder. In any case, let's see. Around there. Am I done getting attacked? Apparently. Okay. Well, you can see the um, <laughs> blood stains. Well, they're gone now. But you can see that uh, there's a lot of people who try this jump, a lot of people who don't succeed. I hope I succeed. Probably won't, but what else? Uh, burp, 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 whee! Oh, I'm going to take that one, but I shouldn't have made it. <laughs> and we got the Yato. Katana forged in an eastern land. The katana is drawn from the scabbard at lightning speed using a niaijutsu yai jutsu technique. The aijutsu allows the wielder to charge forward to swiftly cut down distant foes. It requires 20 dexterity. No. Let's see, you don't want to fall down there. Yes, you did. I did as well. It's really not that great of an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I too appreciate this game sometimes. Well, they have seen me, so... I'll just wait for them to come upstairs. Hello! Oh, invulnerability frames, are we? <laughs> now go back up. He dropped the thing. The soul of lost and dead. Let's see what else is down here. Oh, hello. Another rickety bridge. A lot of that going on here. Pillage corpse. Ooh. Actually, I need those uh, moss clumps because once we get down there uh, all that water down there is very 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 poisoned or toxic I should say because that's the effect that it gives you and a rickety ass bridge a really really long rickety ass bridge it is time I think this is the one that wobbles Yep. Mind where you walk. Oh god. Oh god. I hate the physics in this game. <laughs> and of course, there's a dick right at the end of the bridge. <laughs> ah, that's nerve wracking. Anywho, um, I saw an item. I was lured all the way across this bridge by an item. Where is the item? Another dick. No items. Hm. I see an item over there, but that's way too far away. Where is it? down below or a little further down than I usually uh, tend to go 
Mostly because I always tend to avoid the ah, there's the item. I always tend to avoid this area, and I get through it as quickly as I possibly can. Oh, it's a huge manatee. Because it's just annoying. This whole place is annoying. Ah, you're sort of shingles. <laughs> It's a crystal greatsword. That, that, that's what it does. I can't take this. Try jumping. Yeah, your mom should try jumping. Um. Oh yeah. There is a way that you can technically fall down from here, make it all the way down there, and technically survive. I'm not going to take that chance. I am going to try and find the stairs back up. Or literally any way to get back up to the bonfire so I can make more progress now that I've s seemingly investigated this particular bit of the area mm. and the uh, the ladders tend to eh. Texramus thank you very much for the resub <laughs> thank you very very much for the resub no picture of the TV this time around. <laughs> See. There we go. That's how you do it. In one go. Alright. Okay, so. Now we're at bonfire level. Uh, there, uh, she burns. And... I like to sit as well. Okay. I went up there, jumped on the thing, went down there, did the thing. Until the pavement literally ended. Come on, you out in front. Come on. Come and get me. Yes. Well, the pupper wants to come at me, but the uh, dude is in not too much of a hurry. <laughs> that was very close to the edge there, boy. Very close to the edge. Uh, there's a thing. Oh. God! I'm already toxic just from the single dart. God damn it. <laughs> Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Thank you. A uh, thing that removes toxic. You. One dart is all it takes to make me toxic. You son of a gun. <laughs> I hear them, but I don't see them. Oh, and then there's that thing on the wall there. That's a thing all on its own, but, um... I'd like to try and avoid uh, dealing with it right now. Staying out of reach of its... Oh, someone fell to their death. Very much appreciated, mind you. Oh, that's how we get to that item over there, right? Actually... See that ladder? Well, not this one that this dude's climbing. That's the one I'm going down. There they go. Basically, I have the game cranked up so high on my headset. You guys should still be hearing it at the same volume, but on my headset, it sounds way louder than it should. Because I... 
paranoid when it comes to this place. And I, since I can't see a damn thing, I rely on my hearing. <laughs> Hello, Shay. Um, let's see. So, in order to get down there to go and kill the asshole with the toxic darts, um, I'll have to go. Oh, speaking of assholes with toxic darts, <laughs> there was one right there that I didn't see. <laughs> I need to buy more of those. <laughs> I don't think those are gonna be enough. I hit the wall, but he still died, so it counts. It's the Eagle Shield. It's a tower shield. It's got a lot of stability, but it's not a very good tower shield because it still lets some physical damage through. It's poop, is what I'm saying. It's heavy, and it's pointless. Uh, item on the way down there. If it weren't for the prompt, good luck finding the <laughs> this ladder. And there's one here that this dude climbed earlier. And here's that item we saw. And... Oh, hello. It's one of the big boys. <laughs> Up the butt. <laughs> Look at the big boy again. Yeah, all right. Shout as much as you want. That's going up your butt again. Okay. Um, I saw the ladder. Why can't I see the ladder anymore? Not here. Oh, is it up there? Oh, I am a bit stupid. Alright, okay. Never mind. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> Stop right here, see if we... Ah, there's the asshole that made us toxic earlier. Hello, asshole. They don't have a lot of HP, and most of them don't respawn. There are a few who do, but most of them don't. But yeah, they're all assholes. Happiness? Yeah, yeah, catharsis if nothing else. Alright. What have we here? An interior cell. With an enemy. I'm going to be very sad when this sword finally breaks, but... It's... It, it's good. It's really good. Uh, I am still human. At some point, I'm gonna get invaded. Anywho, hello! There's the thing! That thing killed me so many times the first time I came through here. <laughs> this time... Well, this time I'm going to try and kill it from the back. There it is! Got a lot of HP. Okay. I don't believe it respawns, but... I may be wrong. Uh, let's see. There's a way down there, and there's more things down there. But I don't see an obvious way down from here, except this ladder that we took. So, this way then. Bloop! And we got some pyromancy. Oh, the power within. Let's see. Pyromancy is a spell. Power within. Pyromancy of Carmina, who harnessed the power of the flame to actualize the inner self. 
Short strength slash endurance boost, but lose HP. Yes. Excessive power eats away the life force of its caster. Like all dangerous spells, power within has kept secret for eons. That's really bad English, but whatever. Alright. This is the bottom of, uh, well, that was the bit I was looking at from up there. And... That's a ghost. Okay, for a moment there, I thought something was coming for me. Uh, that ladder is broken, so we can't go all the way down, but we can get down from here. And there's a fog gate. A significant fog gate. But this one, much like the one right at the start of the game, is a misdirection. For there is no boss. <laughs> it's just more of Light Town. It's more like a physical separation. It's like, okay, that's you're about, I don't know, quarter of the way through Blight Town, so rejoice. There's the letter down there. In order to get up to that place, I'm going to have to go all the way down and then get back up. So, let's start going all the way down. Hopefully I can make it at least to the second, um, the second bonfire of Blight Town, because yes, there is. Oh, look! It's the one who fell earlier. <laughs> oh yes, I can one-shot these dudes. <laughs> as long as I have the sword, anyway. But yes, no, no. Being able to one-shot these dudes is very nice because they like to spit fire at you, like that one was about to do. So, get in close and kill them quick. Holy poly. Be wary of sniper. Oh, god damn it, there's another one. Yep, I see it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, I'm going to stand right here until this toxic fades away. Because, you see him? Shooting right next to the uh, wooden beam there. Asshole. Where's the ladder? I don't even see the ladder. Okay, is he done shooting? Is he looking away? He is not looking all that much away. <gasps> Hello. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, there's the ladder. Okay. I shouldn't have uh, gone down the other way. Raise your glass and masturbate till dawn. Good job, Vexrit. Uh <laughs> I can dodge these. I can dodge these. <laughs> It's the Wanderer set, which is actually a very good looking set, and uh, not terrible when it comes to like weight per uh, defense ratio. Oh, 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 hey, hello, hello. Where did you guys come from? Okay, stop that. There, okay. Those damn mosquitoes have an aggro range bigger than I think anything else in the game, because you see them. At the bottom there. They're already coming for me. It's not a pre-designed path, it, it, it's straight up the aggro range. They don't deal that much damage, to be fair, but they do poison you, so... Is it poison or bleed? I don't know, you lose a lot of health. <laughs> and, yeah, they... can clip through the floor. Which is part of the reason why they're so annoying. Basically, lock it on them and tear them a new one. Okay. Blight Town. We're almost halfway there. Almost. Yeah, no, that's, that's 
Okay. Do not breathe fire at me. Oh yeah, I was gonna look at the um, wonder set. Oh, hello. It is poison. That was very silly of me. Well, I was bound to have to heal at some point. Might as well do it now. There it is. I don't like the short range of this weapon to deal with those damn mosquitoes. Kill that damn mosquito! <laughs> Okay. You're all the way down there, so good luck with that. I was here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, that's that's not letting us go up there, so cool beans. Cool cool. What else? Oh that tree. Yeah, we're gonna have to go into that tree at some point. Um after I get the um, bonfire. After. Well, after. <laughs> right. Um, okay. I'm surprised that uh, What's Her Face hasn't invaded me just yet. There's an NPC invasion in this area, so. That's part of my reticence in going down there. You know, besides the water being all kinds of nasty. Hello. Not you. Nope, not that one. Flame whip. That one. It's fine. Tank that like a champ. And then we heal. Alright, so the best way to get through here without getting tux. Not there. Mm, there doesn't seem to be any ground above water there, but there. I think that's the only one. There's some slugs over there. There's that tree that I do want to go into. Just to show you a little something. Um, I guess we're running over there. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm poisoned. That's fine. Yeah, so it is just poison. Okay, I thought it was toxic. Poison is tolerable. Just because I have more things that heal poison, and if I'm poisoned, these guys can't do uh, shit about it. Uh, uh, right. So, is What's-Her-Face invading me at any point? I'd like her to, please. Alright. Light the bonfire. Sit at the bonfire. We have the bonfire. All right. This is halfway. Um, halfway through Blight Town. Is that the first mimic? No. Imminent mimicry. Treasure ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a dragon scale. Which is nice. Um, burr burr. Okay. And this is the exact same uh, tower sister and thing that uh, we were in earlier. To kill that thing, that big weird thing on the wall. It's that same one. <laughs> yes, it, it is very much the bone fire. Those are human slash undead bones that are burning there. I really want what's her face to come and invade me. I am human, so ah, there she is. There she is, Mildred. Come on, Mildred. Let's go fight in here. Mm. Just so I don't have to worry about the things. 
That was close. That was very close. I deal more damage than you, though. Well, I don't want to test that. <laughs> I win. Dark Spirit Maneater Mildred <laughs> was vanquished. Huge manatees acquired. And three more huge manatees and a butcher knife. How about that? Oh, look, there's a friend. Hello, friend. And another friend wearing the exact same armor. Wow. These people are completely un unimaginative. Anywho, we already have one of the damn mosquitoes uh, coming after my ass. And part of the reason why I wanted to kill Mildred there is because if you do, she helps you against the boss. I know, right? Most NPCs in other games, you kill them, even if they respawn, they're probably not terribly happy at, at you. In this game, you kill them, and then they help you with bosses. That, that's great. <laughs> Actually, it is great. <laughs> uh, they don't re respawn at infinitum, but it sure looks like it. <laughs> right, so... The way up from um, Blytown is up on the other side of that thing that's coming down, because the other side is obviously going up. Which we can totally go there. But I honestly would very much like, since, you know, we're down here, we have to ring the Bells of Awakening, and as far as I'm told, one of them is right around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's in that mound with those weird spike things coming out of it. But we have to get there first. So yeah, that's the way out. That's you just take that elevator like that ghost person up there is doing, or I'm guessing they're coming down. Well, whatever the case, that 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 that's the way you go. I would like that one to come and tango with me, without me having to go and tango with it. I also wonder what that message is, but I'll just get poisoned if I go get it. Ah, eh, fuck it, whatever. Let's go. Be wary of leg. Come again. No. Okay, I mean, I'm already poisoned. And those are uh, the big dudes. Except now, this time around, they're carrying boulders! <laughs> Why? Well, mostly because they can. The zero fucks given around that place. I could... Probably... Sneak by most of them. Let me just heal this poison, if for nothing else, and to get this <laughs> noise away from my uh, ears. And... Oh, hello. I just healed the poison. Can you stop? I said stop. the way to do it. Quilag's Domain. Oh, yes. Anywho, these two, don't kill them. Mostly because they don't have anything. Uh, try attacking. <laughs> Liar ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, if you kill them, the parasites that have those eggs on their back come out and try to bite your ass. Oh, look, there's the summoning sign for Mildred. Maneater Mildred. 
But before we summon Mad Eater Mildred, I'm actually going to leave my summoning sign right around here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So nice. And uh, I look close enough to Man Eater Mildred that maybe people will confuse us, and I'll get someone instead. Uh, <laughs> though I'm nowhere near as tanky as uh, Mildred is, but I would like some practice against Quelag. A lot of people say it's not a particularly hard boss. Just take a magic sword, which I totally do have a magic sword right there. It's a very nice magic sword, as well. <laughs> but the amount of damage difference, like, uh, let's see. 267 versus 236. Yeah. It's bad, okay? It's real bad. I'll be able to use better armor, but... <laughs> First, I want to go and, um... Well, help someone with it. If I help someone with it, I'll learn a little bit about the uh, boss's patterns. And hopefully the person who um, is going to fight the boss also wants a uh, thingy, metal, uh, sunlight metal. So that they can try and do the quest without uh, actually having to belong to the Covenant. Well, there's a ghost person down there. Are they the only ones here besides myself? I doubt it. But I really would like to get summoned. <laughs> I think that culling in between the cell transitions is a little bit too... How do I put it? Extreme. Come on. <laughs> Little bit too extreme, that one. In any case. Kill those damn mosquitoes! <laughs> Will someone please summon me? <laughs> oh yeah. There is one thing I forgot to equip. The single most important um, emote of them all. Shrug, beckon. I don't like beckon. Switch beckon with... Well, ooh, I'm being summoned. Praise the sun. Right. <laughs> Good timing, too. Right. You need to heal, Metal. You need to heal very, very much. Okay, he did heal. <laughs> do we get to see the cutscene? We do. He didn't skip it. Alright. It's a spider. <laughs> Oh, it's a spider lady. Well, it's the spider lady. Nope, too hot for Twitch. Stop it. Skip the cutscene. <laughs> yes, Quelag, that shit eating grin. Oh, look at him. Not wanting to trigger the boss. Lady, half uh, lava spitting spider. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let 
it's not. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I did step on the lava. How about that shit? <laughs> Get out of the lava. Ah! Did I die? I died. <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn that explosion. That, 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 that is the thing that always kills me. Alright. That's fine. We do respawn back at the, um... The... Bonfire, if we're not successful in helping the other person defeat the boss. But, that's fine. Actually, it's not fine. Uh, I had more Estus than that. Um, I'm gonna kindle this one too. Okay. I have plenty of huge manatees, so it's fine. <laughs> right. And with 10 humanities up there like I have right now, uh, that is like the soft cap on item- oh, look, I already got another huge manatee, so... Free kindling! Right, and from here... Yes, we get poisoned. Well, that's fine. To be expected, even. I didn't come and check this. Oh yeah, that's because that guy throws a boulder at me. Oh, that is a large titanite shard. I do need those <laughs> to improve. I need one of those to get the claymore up to plus seven? Yes, plus seven. I'm already poisoned. I don't need to dodge the um, little blood spray thing that they do. And those spiders are not uh, made by Bethesda, but they're using the same physics engine. It's havoc. <laughs> it's always havoc. <laughs> there. More mosquitoes. We can ignore those. And just go straight for the boss. And leave my, uh, white sign soapstone there. And this time, I don't be an idiot and get killed by that stupid explosion. It's... It's too much damage. The, the, I mean, Quilag was the first boss... The first time I played, it was the first boss that I had the most trouble with. Then I kind of sort of started to get it from here on in. But god damn it, I died so many times. So many times. <laughs> right. No. Um, not, still not killing you. Um, and if you do get bitten by one of those uh, parasites, you too can get a parasite of your own. Which is, uh... It eats part of your souls. I don't honestly remember if it has any other special effects besides just eating part of your souls and continuously growing. And then when it grows, it gets to... Well, there is the effect that after it grows up to a certain point, you can't wear helmets anymore because the egg literally grows around your head. And, um, yeah. Basically, even if you just get attacked by one of those dudes, even if it's not the parasite, you might get it. I just have to keep an eye on my character to see if he, um, lets go of the sword to scratch his head. That's the only sign that you get that you've been infected. In the meantime, I shall kill some blood bugs. While I wait to be summoned. They should stop respawning at some point. I don't know how many it is, but yeah, it's... Yeah. Blood bugs. Uh, 
anything back here. No. Well, it is a big mound, and the uh, topless spider lady is uh, down below. <laughs> Apparently, I was out of Blight Town for a moment there. <laughs> High ground didn't save that particular mosquito. Well, there's always, or I thought there would always be someone having issues trying to kill a quelag, but no, 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 no. Apparently, it's just me. So, if no one's gonna summon me. While I take a hit of my vape here, I'm just going to cancel my summoning sign and summon Mildred and uh, go at the boss. Might as well. No summoning. Alright. Cancel. Yes. And now, summon Maneater Mildred. Yes. <laughs> oh. We do get a human player we can summon, maybe. After Mildred responds to my summons. Kelbara. Alright, Kelbara. You look like a mage, so come and help me, why won't you? What's the durability on the sword like? 33. Okay, that's cool. Should be all right, then. Kelpara! Praise the sun, Kelpara. Yes. All right. Let's go. Okay, so we've already seen this uh, cutscene once. No need to um, toy with... I'm hitting start. I can't skip it. <laughs> Oh, did they remove the ability to skip the uh, boss cutscenes? That's annoying. <laughs> All right. We get to look at uh, Quilag's chest again. Yes, 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 yes. She's already spotted me, so... All right, let's go. Ah, I was hoping to get some cheap shots while she was um, doing that, but no, she seems very keen to dodge my attacks. There. Right in the butt. Right in the butt. You keep hitting it with the solar arrows, and I'll keep smacking her. Alright, now Bildred's involved too. Nice. <laughs> when did you turn around? Hey! <laughs> Quilag is dead. Oh, that wasn't so hard. With three people. Gemma. Goodbye. I wanted to wave goodbye to the person who helped me, but I was too late on clicking the share button. Eh. Uh, thank you, Kelbara. Thank you very, very much. That was piss easy. <laughs> yes, you did. Alright. So, we've killed Quilag. The Spider Witch of Isoleth. And, um... She lays eggs, apparently. Oh, I see a lever. And a great big massive bell. I wonder what this means. Well, everyone knows what this means. 
It's Bell of Awakening time! I rung the two bells. That was the first one, up on that spire there. And now that the second one uh, has been rung, the giant awakens. And pulls on the chain. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sends Funhouse as it's colloquially known, um, is open for business. Although, yes. Yes, achievement unlocked. Ring the second bell of awakening. Alright! Um, that pretty much spells out where we need to go next. All the way up, after we've come all the way down, into damn near the center of the earth. Because it's all lava down here. Well, it's all lava down here because of another reason, but I'll get to that next time. This time, well, this is an elevator. That's not working right now. And, oh yeah, that's right, that elevator only goes down, it doesn't go up. Yeah, um, even if these messages weren't here, I mean, having a bunch of messages in front of a wall is usually a good indication, but... Illusory wall ahead. Illusory wall ahead. It's like, eh, seems a bit rather than the last one. Whee! Ta-da! <laughs> and over here, we have one of those infected ones. Hello, infected one. Ooh, we can talk to him. Oh dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Yeah, sure. But you have no eggs. Ah, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. And pray that you will mind your manners. Okay. He lets me go and, um, meet his lady. I wonder who his lady is. Although I do see a big spider leg there, so... Yep, it's another topless spider lady. Although this one seems to be a bit... not so good. Mm -hmm. She's a firekeeper. You can give her the soul of a firekeeper and reinforce the Estus flasks. You can enter a covenant with her. Join covenant. Actually, I will join this covenant at some point, but not right now. Just because I want to, um... Well, I'll save a certain person. Let's put it that way. Talk! We can't understand her. That is because you need one of the uh, starting items in order to get the... One of those starting items is the ring that you need in order to be able to understand the fair lady. And uh, you do need to... Uh, join this covenant if you want to save Solaire, but that's that's for later. Are you prepared to dedicate yourself to our fair lady? Then I will make available whatever you require. If you need something, ask me first. Okay. So I can purchase the servant roster for the daughters of chaos. Sure, I'll buy that. I have no weapons for ascension. Specifically, it's the pyromancy flame that he can ascend. No time for idle chat. Think only of our fair lady and what she may need. I know what she needs. She needs they huge manatees. Thirty of them. If you lay a hand on the fair lady, you should be prepared to face my wrath. Yes, your wrath. You can't even stand up. Alright, fine. Be that way. And if we were at a certain point in the game, there would be a body there. But we will return.
And there will be a body here. Hidden path ahead. No, 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 it's really not. Right. Let's see, what else? Oh, would you look at the time? It's been an hour. No. I'll just uh, say my goodbyes as I walk to where I intend to go next time. Yes. Next time, there will be more Dark Souls, more um, jolly cooperation, or not so jolly if I keep dying like an idiot. Um, well, I'm summoned anyway. But, yes, um, you can catch uh, the last episode if you didn't see it live. It's now on the tubes. Someone else has rung the bell. And there's a bunch of those infected dudes around the bonfire. Yes, another bonfire. <laughs> but, right, this is where we're going next. Let's see if I can go upstairs without them um, coming at me, bro. Don't come at me. Please don't come at me. Okay, they seem chill. Cool. These will attack you. Well, some of them will. Um, there's a fog gate there. That's where we're going next time. And you can already see the tendrils of what it is that we're going to be doing. So, thank you very, very much for joining me. Tune in tomorrow for some uh, Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays with uh, myself, a Jill, and a Ven. We'll have... Um, more uh, e more of your usual linux -y news and maybe some unusual ones who knows uh there will also be a stream on thursday courtesy of uh, the jordan himself on friday ven will be doing a stream oh there's a capra demon right there huh. how about that you can't really make out the taurus demons from here but you can see that capra demon down there and of course saturday is uh Linux Gamecast Weekly Night. So, join the adventures of Mr. Sackman and the Crystal Greatsword next Tuesday, right here. An hour before this. Huh? Alright. Bye, everyone. And, uh, don't forget. Praise the sun. <laughs>